I've got two smartphones here, two. Checking them all the time, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, it's part of the job, but what if I told you that addiction, insomnia, eye strain, and loss of attention are all, that could be the result of, of paying attention too much to your, uh, your smartphone, yeah, being watch. addicted you, to social media. Are you gonna punch me if I grab one? No, take them oh, both. No, okay. <laughs> take them both, I don't want them. I don't want insomnia. <laughs> yeah, so Ryan Eldridge with Nerds on Call is here to talk about how we can detox from our devices those are some serious symptoms. Yeah, you know, here's the thing is, is the internet is addictive and our smartphone is giving us constant access to it. Did you know, here's a kind of a fun fact. One in three people would rather give up sex than their smartphone. Really? Is that insane? I would, I can't imagine I believe that, it. But a lot I of people it. would do that. But did you know that the, like the dings and notifications and things like that, it produces dopamine in your brain. And that's the same thing that keeps us addicted to things like heroin and crack cocaine and that kind of stuff. So these little so dopamine punches. So my cell phone punches. is the equivalent of crack. Yeah, because every time you're, it, it dings, you, your, your brain goes, oh, that sounds kind of good. What is that? What is that? And right. you keep looking at it, and you get rewarded each time you see a new email or a new text or new something else. And in this case, we're snorting likes. <laughs> and that's unfortunate. Here's another thing is that people who are addicted to the internet, they have 10 to 20% smaller brain areas that are uh -huh. responsible for speech and motor skills and emotion. That's probably why people are so mean when they're online. They don't right. have as much emotional capacity as the rest of us. So it's better to have interactions with regular people than online. The whole Absolutely. Time. Uh, but it's so hard to tell the younger generation that to put down their phones. So how do we detox? Well, we, there's a seven day detox plan, but before we get to that, I have one okay. last fact that's really cool. Sure. Did you know that the, um, that the average American's attention span is less than a goldfish? In 2010, <laughs> it was 12 seconds, and now it's only eight seconds. Every time we get bored, we pull out our phone and start looking at it. Right. So let's talk about detoxing. So the number one thing we can do is start on Monday. Digital detox is about uh, turning off the addiction. So mm -hmm. first thing you wanna do is unfollow all those people on your Facebook feed that aren't your real friends, Turn off all the Twitter followers you aren't paying attention to that okay, much. So I'll have to delete about 800 people. Yeah, and you want to clean out your phone, clean out all those apps that you don't really use, things that are just sending you pop-ups all the time. So that's on Monday. Clean your digital house. Okay. On Tuesday, turn off your, your uh, little dings and pops, all those notifications that are telling you you got a new text or you got a new thing on Facebook. Right. Turn those off. And then on Wednesday, here's gonna be the kicker. Okay. What you wanna do is take your phone and leave it outside of your bedroom when you, wake, uh, when you go to bed at night. Just well, charge it someplace else. So many people use their phone as the alarm clock is the problem. I know, but go get an old school alarm clock that you can wind Those up. Those still exist? Like yeah, they do. Okay. Get them at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> but leave your phone outside because what happens is when we go to bed at, at night, we're uh -huh. looking through it and going, oh, look at that text and look at that. And that suppresses our dopamine. Right. I'm sorry, not our dopamine, our melatonin. Yeah. And so we don't want to do that if you just leave your phone outside the bedroom. And then on Thursday, what you want to do is wake up without your phone. Don't even look at it. Eat your breakfast, go to work. And then when you get to work, then check your phone, check your emails, check your texts, things like that. And now on Friday, here's gonna be another big one. Turn your phone off and go out without your phone. Oh, wow. Go out and have Imagine a date night. Imagine that. Have a date night without Siri telling you all the time what to talk about. Just talk to someone else. I like that. And then on Saturday, don't post to social media all day. You're right. Don't even tell anybody that your Labradoodle got a new trick. Just turn it off. Don't don't post it all that day. And we and got about 10 seconds for Sunday. Sunday's the last big one. Sunday, just leave your phone off the entire day. See if you can wow. make it through a whole day. Okay. And if, if, you, if you didn't take notes, you'd, all these uh, tips will be online. You can just check the website. And the website is? Callnerds.com slash blog. I'm going to put my phone over there. <laughs> I'll put and that's a, that's a first step. We are there we go. We're doing free. the digital. Detox. It feels amazing, <laughs> Crystal. That won't last long. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm grabbing it right now. It's really interesting, though. We always appreciate when our friend comes into the building. He always has such good stuff. Nerds on call.